Dassault Falcon recently invited me to take a special flight on a Falcon 8X from Santa Monica, California to Teterboro, New Jersey. The reason for this flight was simple, to set a speed record. The company wanted to do this because the runway at Santa Monica was recently shortened from 5,000 feet to 3,500 feet. It would show off the capabilities of the 8X, that it could be loaded up with enough fuel for passengers and luggage, and still manage to take off from the short runway at Santa Monica before going on to fly across the country quickly. Pilots Franco Nassi and Ryan Duvenek were flying the airplane back home from China, and I caught up with them in Portland, Oregon. We headed out to the airplane way before the sun came up. The pilots started it up, and in no time, we were rolling and up in the air. As we flew towards California, there was a definite sense of tension in the cockpit as the pilots went over their takeoff performance charts and other details, leaving nothing to chance. Before long, it was almost time to descend. The challenge of taking off from Santa Monica is one thing, but before we could do that, the pilots would have to land this big jet on the short runway. All right, man, let's stay sharp, okay? Yeah. Minimums, 300. Two hundred. Look great. Auto throttle. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Nice. Five. Could be two. Trance. Deploy. Well done. Alpha three on the right. Falcon four, Fox on Juliet. Good job, and uh, right turn off the three ground point nine. Thank you very much, sir. Alpha 3, ground point niner. We'll talk to you in a few. Sounds good. Clearly, the pilots had no problem using the brakes to their full potential, and the airplane used less than 2,000 feet of the runway. After such a short landing, the brakes had to cool for a while as the fuelers loaded us up. Soon, it was time to go. We taxied out, and anticipation was in the air as Franco set the brakes and spooled up the three engines. At 8.08 a.m. Pacific time, with a slight tailwind, we released the brakes and we took off like a rocket. Good power. Good sell. The airspeed left three times. Checky 28, Lima X, 82 on line point. B1, rotate. Positive rate. The 8X only needed a balanced field length of 3,200 feet before leaping into the air. Falcon 4 power, Juliet contact Falcon. Ryan made the command for the noise abatement power reduction that's required by the airport. And the 8X managed to fly well under the 95 decibel limit, recording a noise output of just 92.2 decibels. Soon we resumed climbing quickly to cruise altitude, a block altitude between flight level 410 and 430, where we could fly quickly and efficiently, and the sensation of thrust was still really noticeable. Once we were able to take a breath, we went up to chat with Franco in the flight deck. What's unique about the 8X that yeah, makes it well-suited for this record attempt? So really what's unique is that we have very good ru short runway capability. So for us, I mean, 3,500 foot runway, um, with the amount of fuel that we carried out there to be able to make the East Coast with a fairly good, reasonable airspeed um, is very unique for this airplane. Um, not too many other aircraft, if at all any, could probably do this speed record with the short runway capability, with the amount of payload we're carrying. So we're pretty much carrying a typical payload, four to six packs. We took off with almost 16,000 pounds of fuel still have a pretty good safety margin with regards to the balance field length going out of uh, Santa Monica. And still, we're almost approaching Mach 8.7. So we're doing pretty well so far. Right now, we're just playing a balancing game between fuel reserves and speed. What kind of preparation did you have to do for this? So, preparation. Um, so this, we've been preparing for this probably, we wanted to do the uh, speed attempt last year. 
uh, but unfortunately we couldn't do it because of the max landing weight. So it was almost a year in progress with regards to getting the new certification landing weight so we can go into Santa Monica. And so preparation typically between myself and Ryan this week was practice, practice, practice for short runway capability. Um, so yesterday we spent the entire day at a small airport in Portland uh, practicing landing under well under 3,500 feet. And the departures was practicing noise abatement procedures. So it's critical between myself and Ryan, which he makes the command with regards to the uh, power reduction, it's critical. Uh, because Santa Monica's uh, very critical on noise abatement, very quiet airport, so we have to be right on cue with regards to make the power reduction. Still make a safe climb out from the airport and keeping it quiet for everybody there in Santa Monica. As we traversed the country, the flight felt completely normal. Franco and Ryan's goal was to make it to Teterboro in less than four hours and 30 minutes. For a while, looking at the display in the cabin, it didn't look like that was going to happen, and it seemed like we would land about 10 minutes beyond their goal. As we crossed New Jersey and began our descent into the New York area, it was clear that they were really going for it, trying to keep their speed up and descend rapidly. There was a lot of turbulence and some definite zero-g moments. In no time, we were on approach to Teterboro. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. <laughs> Under four thirty, baby. Yes. We're here. Maybe two. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> and deployed. Four twenty-eight. Hell yeah. Four twenty-eight. Hell yeah. We touched down at three thirty-six p.m. Eastern time. Fantastic, great flight, airplane was going well. Nah, it was awesome, it was dead. Tell me, how did you do? We did really well. So, the winds weren't as, as good as we expected, but we actually made up the last eight, 10 minutes on the approach here, thanks to ATC in New York, they helped us out quite a bit. So they delayed our descent, so we had higher speeds, and then once we got into the approach, they shortened the approach up for us considerably. And that's where we saved a good five minutes. So that made that made the speed record that much better. How are you feeling right now? Pretty good. <laughs> so it was a challenging day, right? Short runway, Santa Monica, landing, refueling, taking a fairly hefty load of fuel, a good payload of passengers and bags, still take off at a 3,500 foot runway, flying 8-7 all the way back to New York, and landing here with a pretty decent fuel reserve. So it's all good. Excellent. No other aircraft can do that. None, except for a Falcon product. So there it was, a new record. Four hours and 28 minutes from Santa Monica to Teterboro. If anyone wants to try to beat this one, they'll have until 2028 when the city of Santa Monica closes the airport for good. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.